Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everyone, and and beyond. My name is Taylor, and this is Tales Noir Rebel Rush. The brand new indie speedrunning slash platform game uh, from the Tales Noir developer and publisher uh, Soup with Friends and Eggnut. Yes, that is the actual title of the studio. So this game was published and developed by Soup with Friends and Eggnut, and I was gifted a key through Press Engine, so thank you to Press Engine and Soup with Friends and Eggnut. And yes, I'm just using an excuse to say that because it's really funny to me. So, I am unfortunately not too familiar with the Tales Noir series. I do know it's kind of a noir detective, I believe, point-and-click uh, featuring anthropomorphic characters, hence the tales. But that's really as far as my knowledge goes. And I believe this game is meant to be a spin-off using those characters in a different capacity. Now, I could be fully wrong in saying this. Again, pretty uninformed opinion here. Um, but the game looked fun and I asked for a key and they said yes. So, again, thank you to the publisher and thank you to Press Engine for that. I will not let that affect my opinion of the game. And I'm sure, based on what you've seen, it looks really fun and it really is. Now, I am not a big... Uh, speedrunning gamer, I am not a big platforming gamer, and I am definitely not a big car slash racing guy. But, I don't know, something about this game kind of stood out to me. It's the fact that I'm not racing against anyone, you know, else. I'm just racing against myself, trying to get better times, and just find those little shortcuts. And the fact that this feels like baby's first speedrun game. This isn't some complex game where you have to make pixel-perfect uh, movements and, you know, decisions on the heat of the moment to make sure you get the best time ever. They have predetermined routes or little things that will help you move faster that you'll find as you're going through the level, especially if you repeat it a couple times. And the mechanics are just simple, yet fun. Like the fact that you can just do a little hop, just a little jump, you know, and then when you jump on a ramp you go farther. Uh, you can collect tigers and foxes which will give you different boosts in midair, and I still don't fully understand that. Um, but I'll try to explain that a little bit when I get into the story, which I might as well do now, actually. So, as far as I can tell, you're a new member of a street racing gang who believe that the city has been taken over by capitalism and corporate greed, and you want to send a message by driving around. Now, I don't know what message they're trying to send because they're not usually destroying public property. You'll destroy a billboard here or there or, you know, a sign. But there's never this sense of, you are sending a message, you are doing something really important until a few levels in. At which point, uh, you are contacted by a very rich woman who was like, oh, that was the most fun I've ever had. You know, just watching uh, you drive around and do random stunts and they're like, why would you care? We're trying to fight against people like you. Uh, then she's recognized as one of the uh, leaders, as far as I can tell of a very prominent crime family in the universe, which, again, I'm sure is very related to the Tales Noir series, but I have no idea. Um, and she basically says, you keep doing this, you know, your little protest, and I will pay you to do it. So, we're effectively selling out um, for $4,000 a race, which I don't know how the economy works in this game, but, I mean, if I was getting paid $4,000 to just drive around, admittedly pretty recklessly, I can't, I can't guarantee I would say no. Uh, it does feel kind of, how do I put this? It goes against what they stood up for, right? If they're, if they're trying to fight against capitalism, and yet here they are literally selling out to be entertainment for a rich crime family. And she does claim that the places that she's having us drive through are going to have an impact on the government or like the man but I can't really tell what that impact would be. So it's just an interesting framing narrative to just say, hey, drive fast, pull off some stunts, have fun. It is, they, developers associated with things like Neon White, uh, Trackmania, GTA 5 in terms of having custom maps, but also a standalone game, and getting over it with Bennett Foddy, but without Bennett Foddy. Now, I have watched most of these games, never actually played any of them, but I understand where they're going with this. Neon White in terms of the speedrunning aspect and trying to improve time after time after time. Uh, Trackmania, I believe is a racing game if I remember correctly, with really interesting tracks. And they do have some interesting setups here, like jumping across buildings, having half-submerged bridges that you go across, 
driving along the side of buildings. Like, it's really, really dystopian stuff, if I'm honest. Um, GTA, but with custom maps, I totally get that. And then getting over at Bennett Foddy, yeah, the game can be slightly frustrating, but I never felt like I couldn't do something. I never felt like the game was being unfair. It was like, oh, I missed that jump, or oh, I could have made that turn just a little bit sharper to get that next star to unlock that next level. Like, it felt doable. And again, I'm not good with racing games, I'm not good with speedrun games, but this felt accessible to me. This is not a precision racer game, this is not does not have good physics in terms of, like, realistic physics. It has fun physics, which is great, and that's exactly what I want. Uh, it is very replayable, you know, like, you, the idea is you beat your friend's scores, you try to get three stars so you can unlock more levels, more... Uh, you find collectibles to unlock more skins for your car, that sort of thing. The info they have provided is that it will take about four to six hours. Uh, it will be on Steam for $4.20, which I believe that's US, which is a pretty pretty reasonable price for a four hour to six hour game. Now, I put in about just under an hour when I played, and I, like I said, had a lot of fun, uh, but I got to the point where I understood what the game was, and I was like, all right, I can stop here. I'm comfortable with that. I will be launching uh, September 16th, so either right when this video comes out or just after this video. So either right when this video comes out or just before uh, the video has come out. And honestly, I highly recommend it. Like, it was a lot of fun for someone who doesn't, again, enjoy speedrunning games, enjoy racing games. This felt like a casual, put on a record, put on a podcast, put on something to listen to, and just see how you can compare with your friends. I might even buy this for a couple friends of mine, if they were willing, like say John and Chris, because I mean, it's $4. And then say, let's just, you know, have a night where we play and we can see who gets the best scores, what kind of tracks they find. Like if you have, well, first of all, if you have friends, uh, second of all, if you have friends who are into racing games, who are into driving games, or even platformers, this strikes me as a, hey, let's all hop on Discord, let's all get this game for $4, and let's see who can get the best score. Like, let's see who among us can kind of come up with the best ideas. Or you craft ideas together to create the most optimum routes to try to get on those leaderboards. It strikes me as a very open-ended, accessible community activity almost. In a weird way. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. So again, I highly recommend it. I will leave the uh, Steam link in the description down below, provided the game is out. And let me know your thoughts. Do you enjoy speedrunning games? Do you enjoy platformers? How does this game look to you? Because it's very simple, and I still really appreciate that. Um, and again, as someone who is not familiar with the Tales series, you don't need to know anything about it. You can just jump right in, and you'll be perfectly fine. With all that being said, thank you, ladies, gentlemen, everyone, tuning me on for being here. Really appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.